Why is it that the more successful I've become, the less that men seem to want to date me? Women on average view 80% of men as below average and attractive. They are seeing a trend of women dating down, which what? means, you know. Stop dating cheap, guys. Is he showing you the cheapest menu option, saying that's the most delicious? The struggle will only continue as modern women are unable to change their attitudes. Every single time I open this app, I am violently humbled by the people who are trying to match with me. Attractive women cannot afford to date down. Ladies, can we please stop dating down and lowering our standards? Ladies, do not ever date a man below your league. There's no such thing as below your league. It's an illusion they feed themselves to believe. Kindly subscribe to the channel as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. Men like, date down too. Th I don't think so. Men date down? Yeah. I've like flirted with guys that I know are out of my league and they don't want anything to do with me. Yeah. So they sure. don't date down. It's not a guarantee that all men are going to. I would say generally speaking, men will date oh, down. Oh, are you talking about social class or attractiveness? Both. Oh, okay. A man who's a doctor, a man who's attorney will date a barista. A female attorney, a female doctor, She's probably not looking a barista's way. I don't know why this is such a surprise. A six-figure earner man can date a woman that work at McDonald's or any fast food restaurant. As long she's pretty, feminine, caring, and loyal. Basically, all the wifey qualities. On the other hand, a woman wouldn't do that because women like having their man ready-made. They want to be able to come into a man's life where they have to add no value and just f*** it up. <laughs> if your man complains that you're expensive, just tell him that there are other girls out there in different price ranges and remind him that you always get what you pay for. Are you for sale? In terms of attraction, men rate women in a uniform way that's somewhat normally distributed as shown in the pink chart. It is pretty evenly split between least attractive and most attractive. Meanwhile, women think that 80% of men are below average. Why men date down? Now, before I tell you why, I just want to say not all men date down, but a lot of them do. And the reason is, a lot of guys feel like they have to be a provider. So by going for a girl who's maybe less intelligent or not as wealthy or not as successful, they feel more valuable. Now, this is something that's ingrained in society. But here's the thing. When someone is doing this purely for egotistical purposes, then the relationship is being set up to fail because it's becoming a transactional relationship instead of a transformational relationship. Completely false. Men date down because they simply care more about personality, where women care more about status. Some men just actually like the idea of them providing for their woman, not because she's less intelligent. It's just dating a woman who makes their lives better. It has nothing to do with education and having a job. It's got everything to do with being a feminine woman. Why is it that there are so many girls who are hot and successful, but they're still single? I read every dating book under the sun, this is what they said. The first reason they're single is because of something called hypergamy. That means we tend to want to date up, which means women tend to want to date a guy who's got more money and social status than her. This doesn't make women shallow, this is just evolutionary. So as you can imagine, if a woman is already making six figures and super attractive, the chances of her finding a man who's even more career successful, and makes more money, and has more social status, and meets her high standards is going to be extremely slim. The second reason is because most women who are super career driven lead with their masculine energy because it's what's got them career success whereas what attracts high value men isn't career success in a woman it's a woman who's in her feminine okay i need to talk about hinge for a second because i need to know if anyone else relates to this but like every single time i open this app i am violently humbled by the people who are trying to match with me and listen i don't think i'm the prettiest girl in the world like, I think I'm, like, kind of cute sometimes. But, like, I look at these people who are trying to match with me. And I'm like, are these really the people that are interested in me and think they have a chance with me? Like, come on. There has to be better than this. I know I could do better than that. Like, where is everyone finding the cute guys that they start dating from Hinge? I don't understand. Help no, I feel the exact same. The people that like me are just simply like, no, and I'm sure they'd be great for someone, but not for me at all. The cute guys are married and in relationships. 
the universe left us with goblets best to try the supermarkets and libraries. Apparently, Hinge shows you people they deem the same attractiveness level as you. Yeah, I'm starting to think I'm not as pretty as I thought. Hmm, ma'am. If you're not finding cute guys to date, it simply means you're not pretty enough for them to swipe right on you. This is just a typical case of average women thinking that they're not average. This is only happening because their ego have been boosted to the point where they believe they're so beautiful and above others. Maybe try taking off the bullring, might have a better shot. I see a lot of you young women on here getting excited about the scraps from men. Like, oh my God, he texted. Like, as if you're not the prize. As if you're supposed to be waiting around for scraps from people that you're likely dating down with. So you're not waiting for scraps and you're definitely not dating down. If you have to date down, be alone. If you have to wait for scraps, be alone. Ah, of course, the bitter and single woman giving advice to other women. Dating down is a derogatory term these women use to describe dating broke men or men who aren't so called on their level, whatever that means. But if that's the case, men have been doing that for the longest and still doing that till this day. And I don't know how women are even taking this woman seriously. She's single, unmarried, and just can't get men out of her mind. This is what being invisible to men cause these women to turn into. They try and get other women to join them in their misery. And money doesn't make a man. It only adds to him and in the ways he can improve his life. And by her logic, I guess men have been getting the scraps for a very long time. I'm spending Valentine's Day with my main man. Oh, you go. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Attractive women cannot afford to date down. If you're dating somebody who is beneath you, who, you know, you're clearly out of his league, and he's an insecure guy, he will always, always take it out on you. And this also goes for a man who clearly can't afford you. You're also out of his league. You have to be really careful because these emasculated, insecure men, they're going to end up enraged because they're so emasculated, they're so insecure, and the only way they can make their sad little selves feel better is by exerting some form of control over you, potentially even abuse, to put you in your place. Because insecure men have this need to enforce this like sick power dynamic where you're beneath him. And the clearer it is that you are not beneath them, that he is beneath you, the more triggered he will be. And honestly, the more that you're going to become his emotional and sometimes his physical punching bag. So if you're in a relationship where you resonate with anything that I just said, please just get out. Get out of there. You're much better off single than with a guy whose attitude is to take you down a peg. After you've been out of that dangerous situation, I want you to really do the deep work. Commit to healing your self-confidence. Because the universe gave you a gift. You can only date confident, successful guys. God is not going to let you date down. And look at that as a gift. Because it is. Reality check. Men have been dating down for generations. Don't forget your grandma was home cooking and broke. Looks don't make you out of someone league. That's dense. You modern-day Western women would give a migraine a migraine. Every day it's blah, blah, blah. Get over yourselves. A bunch of social media crybabies. Attractive women have the most insecurities. You think looks gave you the power of no effort needed. No wonder they are the most cheated on. And you hear the why she was so beautiful. The below average looking chicks demanding the most. Where's the standard in that? Continue providing the daily comedy. Well, the bear is always an option. And this woman is clearly projecting base off of her personal experiences. Whenever a woman is saying a man can't afford her, she's basically telling you that she's up for auction. I don't know why they add a price to themselves, but they just do. Some of these women believe that men are beneath them because they're on an ego trip. Somehow in their minds, they've embedded it in there that they are superior to men. 
they base that idea off the things they were able to accomplish in their lives and accumulate wealth, which is leading them to look down on men who aren't on par or better than them. In reality, the only ones they are competing with is themselves, not men. Men do not care about a woman's wealth. Men do not care about a woman's money. Most men find most women to be at least somewhat attractive. In contrast, women on average view 80% of men as below average in attractiveness. Another study found that on the dating app Tinder, men liked more than 60% of the female profiles they viewed, while women liked only 4.5% of male profiles. I didn't realize that 80% of men as below average. That's quite yeah, off. It is because, you know, you would think like 50%, right? It's sort of like 50% above and 50% below, but to have 80% rated below is pretty grim. Because of the increased risk women carry, they tend to be choosier about their partners. In contrast, men are less discerning. Studies of online dating, for example, find that- Yeah, but they're basing this off of an app that's designed for hookup culture. Women tend to aim way above their league on dating apps. Guys who realistically never talk to them in real life is the quality of guy they would go for. Since more than 20% of men have relationships, this suggests that women are less interested in physical attractiveness than other attributes. Maybe we need to start wearing makeup too. Realistically, 90% of women who chase the top 20% of guys won't ever end up with them. It's almost absurd that they don't realize they're all competing for the same few men, yet they still complain about not finding someone to date. What's even more ironic is that when average guys show interest in them, they get upset, not recognizing that they're average themselves. Instead of appreciating the attention they receive, they dismiss it because they've bought into the fantasy that they deserve someone in the top tier. This disconnect between reality and their expectations leads to frustration, both for them and the men who actually do show interest. The cycle just keeps going. Unrealistic standards, disappointment, and a constant search for something that isn't likely to happen. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they said that 80% of women are looking for a man that's over six feet tall, but only 15% of men actually are. So I learned that I am 100% delusional. Thank you. They may have rejected you because they know you're out of their league. And what I mean by that is this, if you're really successful or smart or ambitious or beautiful or kind or just the full package, that may have made them feel insecure because they know they can't live up to that or they're not gonna be able to provide for you the things that you want or they just have self-limiting beliefs. And whatever the case is, it doesn't really matter because the point is they did you a favor. You don't want people who you have to dim your light around. You want people in your life who want you to shine even brighter. And if that's not them, it's gonna be someone better. They are seeing a trend of women dating down, which what? means, you dating know, a man down. who... Oh, dating man. down. All right. Really? All right, listen, it was in the prompt, right? <laughs> really? Who wrote that? I mean, who I sailed it. Jeez. Uh, hey. Disgruntled. Dating this down. is just the reality of it. So women, you know, we're more educated now, and I think that we're furthering our education. So with that being said, we're going to hold off on the baby making. We're going to hold off until we get that great job, really career driven. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with hoping that there's someone either on your level or higher than you. So, Okay. Go ahead, Lord right. Doctor. All right. So before, right, it was okay when the man made more money to be the one to buy everything, to do, you know, treat you and all this other kind of stuff. And now that you make more money, you can't be that one, right? You can't be the one to pay for the meal and because you're dating down. Dating down. Now. I mm -hmm. hate that. Yeah. What is that about? It wasn't called dating mm -hmm. down. Right. Yeah. When men were the breadwinners and all that. Yeah. I don't, it's called I don't know. Now it's family. dating down. Yeah. What is that? I have a feeling, though, that, that some of the issue here is that it may be the psyche of the men that when they make less, they are insecure and it no, can affect their relationship. This report is about the women saying, complaining about the fact that, that, that oh, now have... I got to get so, a guy. Yeah, I guess my question would be so are these women expecting the men to cover everything? They, <laughs> they want those breadwinners. So they... That's what it sounds like to me by this particular study. Mm -hmm. I have to date down now. Mm -hmm. What is that? You wanted to make more money, you make more money. What's the re if, if there is a responsibility with making more money, first of all, I don't believe in any of it. Mm -hmm. But if there's a responsibility that comes with making more money, accept it. You wanted to make more money. Right. You know, are you going to find many men out there that makes as much as you do? And my point is, so now you're going to, because we hear so much about women that are like, oh, there's nobody out there. There's no one out there. I can't find love. I'm getting mm -hmm. too old. Now you're going to sacrifice the fact that you could find that love 
because the man's not making that much money? Mm. Are you going to date down? All yeah. right. Ooh, they're, they're rabbit eyes. I have a feeling this is going to be our morning rush, actually. I can do bad by myself. Left to say. All right, time now, 5.11. Let's, let's get to what's ahead. Men have been dating down since the beginning of time. I'm actually happy that they knocked that opinion piece down immediately with a concept you can tell she's never thought of. Women aren't dating down, they're just finally dating at their level. Just remember, fellas, women don't truly love you for you. They love what you can do for them. This standard only applies to putting value on how much a person makes only. Sad. There are other things of value to bring to the table besides money. Dating down implies you think you're better than that person. Ain't no such thing. You might be luckier, but you're definitely not better. If you really pay attention to these women, the only metric they use to judge a man with is money, well, other than height. But it's the only one that's used the most to judge a man, the character of the man, his personality. Would he be a great husband? All of that is out the window. But the truth is, these women are just dating realistically. They think they're dating down because they feel like they deserve a man of higher status. This here is also why a woman won't stay with a man that makes less money than they do, nor respect that man. But all of this is confusing because this is exactly what they fought for, to be able to have the same opportunities. I guess it's biting them where it hurts. Are you men's dating profile pictures always look like this? And then you have to guess which one it is, and you don't know until you scroll, and then you're disappointed. They truly do not care what we think, but they want us to swipe on them. Where's the effort? For real, where's the effort? We all look so pretty, we're posing, we're making our profiles interesting, and then we get this. People move so, so weird when they know they don't deserve you to begin with. The thing is with men as well, they really love an actual chase. They really love to feel like they've earned something. And the reality is if you're way out of a man's league and you're just kind of giving him the benefit of the doubt and just sticking around and seeing what happens, he knows that you don't actually respect him because he didn't put in enough work to get you in the first place. And his own demons be eating him up in the mind because he knows that he did not work to get you. He knows that you deserve way better and he's gonna find absolutely any way to fumble that entire situation. Some women just can't accept that a man rejected them, so they try to make themselves feel better by saying things like, he was just insecure or he was out of my league. But the truth is, men have preferences too. Not every guy is going to accept whatever comes his way. If a man decides he doesn't want to deal with you anymore, it's probably because you don't match up to his standards. Just like women have the right to be selective, so do men. It's not about one being better than the other. It's about compatibility and finding someone who meets your own standards and expectations. I don't like when people stare at me in general, but when white boys stare at me, the f are you thinking? Do you want me or are you going to call immigration? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Give me a heads up. <laughs> women, women who hit 40 plus, yeah, and are alone, accept it. And they realise that they, like, they can't compete with younger women. They passed the best. They, they, had, they had good men and they blew it. You know what I mean? And they... <laughs> sure, I'd love to explain. In general, women don't really see men as like a fixed number on a scale. We pretty quickly divide you into three different looks categories. On one end of the spectrum is male model. I know all my friends are going to think he's hot. This is rare to see in real life, it's usually celebrities. Then there's absolutely not, which is different for all women. My friend would never date a skinny guy under any circumstances, but I really like skinny guys. But the vast majority of men fall into the other category, which ranges from meh to kind of cute. And as we get to know you, there are tons of factors that literally change your physical appearance to us. Everything from the way your voice sounds to how you smell to how funny you are. And that can nosedive you down into absolutely not or bring you up to I want him status, which is so much hotter than even the male model category. That's pretty amazing. So for a man to qualify to date certain women, they have to be able to check off everything on that list while women just throw on some makeup and perfume and call it a day. Basically, a guy who's 5'9 
is the absolutely not category, and then you have to work to get to the may category. But this varies for different types of women. Some women would prefer average men because they would treat them better compared to a guy who's a model. And some women would choose the medium ugly guy so they can feel special, just like this woman. On today's episode of Why Hot Girls Pick the Medium Guys, we choose them for many reasons, but here are the reasons. They treat us like queens. They're not broke, not cheap. There's a difference. They are number one fans, main supporters. We don't have to fight for attention because the attention's always on us. We don't want our boyfriends to take it away from us. They're always nice. They're always cute. Like, hot guys are just for stories. Not for dating. Stories. It's too much work to date a really hot guy. Like, not only are people looking at him and they're looking at you, but they're looking what to do with you guys. I can't. I can't. You're not only competing with girls looking at him or trying to get with him, you're competing with guys. Us, if I need that in my life. No, thank you. And did I say <laughs> broke? <laughs> He'll be at the bar waiting for you to get him a drink. Like, <sighs> and to put lip gloss on him. No. These women date medium looking guys because they get put on a pedestal and aren't challenged when they're being disrespectful. They enjoy being the center of attention, and these men make that easy for them. With more attractive guys, they can't compete for attention or control, so they stick with partners who let them feel important without much effort. They know these men will give them what they want, admiration, attention, and an easy path to dominance in the relationship. Why is it that the more successful I've become, the less that men seem to want to date me? So there's a lot of reasons for this. This is a struggle I personally had in the past. Oftentimes those of us women are very career oriented and to give off this vibe that we just don't need anybody. We don't need a guy. We don't need friends. We don't need help with anything. We got it. We got it all. And that type of vibe or energy can be really off-putting for a lot of people. Men like to feel needed and wanted. And no, you don't need to be a damsel in distress or incapable of doing things. But before getting in in a relationship with you, a man wants to know that he'll have a valuable place in your life. You can let go of some of that control and let him lead occasionally. No one likes a person that's overbearing and has to control everything. Big majority of straight men like and want feminine women. Most often, career-oriented women have a lot of masculine energy, which is unappealing for us. Yeah, I have to. We stay away from women that give off the boss bitch energy. Also, we look at it as a woman simply not having time enough for a relationship and that it will always take lower priority. If men can't spend as much or more than women, then the man is seen as poor or worthless. Stop dating cheap guys. Is he showing you the cheapest menu options saying that's the most delicious? Is he counting how many drinks you have? Is he not willing to send you an Uber when you're coming over to his place? Let me clarify, there's nothing wrong in dating a guy that is on the path to financial freedom. But there's everything wrong in dating a guy who's just cheap, stingy, gross. Shut up, bitch! I feel like you have to date people that's on the same level as you and not meaning just like, oh, we make the same money because you don't have to make the same money, but you have to be like level minded. As okay. me. me, I am the person that I like to spoil you. Mm -hmm. I love to spoil men. I, if I see something, I'm like, dang, that look good on him. I'm going to get it. So I want a man to be like, dang, in the mall, like, dang, that'll look good on her. I need you to, you know, reciprocate the energy gotcha. that I'm going to reciprocate because if you don't, then I'm going to be mad all the time because I'm like, dang, I want to do this for him. But I know he's not going to want to. He's not going to do it for me. Women Listen to this. Status. Most men are invisible to women. Most women are not invisible to men. And you know that women are extremely picky, extremely picky, which is why you have guys on these dating apps that can't get anywhere. They're not getting any swipes. They're getting aggravated. This is the culture of the modern world, right? Dating apps. Well, guys are on there and they're not getting anywhere. And you've got women who are. A six, five, a four, maybe a four, trying to amp themselves up to look like a six with all the makeup and the hair extensions and all that stuff. And they're getting swipes like crazy. So women have a really hard time understanding the lack of attention that most men get. They have a really hard time empathizing with the reality that guys 
many guys in the modern world, they're sexless, they're not having sex, they're not getting dates, they're not getting attention. When women at their very same level walk down the street, put on a short dress, do whatever, and they get a ton of attention. It's not the same. Everything's gone in the wrong direction these past 10, 15 years. I just take care of myself. I was contacted by a woman on a dating app, and within 24 hours she asked me for $150. I avoid posting what I make on dating apps, and most women are attracted to the same men. It's that same group of men that they base their perspective on men on and that men have to open themselves up to ridicule and embarrassment to even approach a woman. A feeling a woman never has to feel. Everyone wants the same guy. Yes, everybody everyone wants, wants the, the same, same guy. And that's the problem. <clears throat> and that's the problem. Well, like, and I always say this too, like even as a Christian woman and mm -hmm. Julie's a Christian woman, we still as Christian women do not tend to be attracted to the men who are virgins because the men who are virgins tend to be involuntarily virgins, right? right? So we still, because, and the reason is because we look at men who are sexually successful with other women and we see that they have value yeah. because other women want It's them. like, oh, there must be something there. Right, right. Everybody Larger proportion of women that have, for example, 30, 40, 50 body counts. Mm -hmm. For uh, th These aren't exact numbers, but just to articulate a point. And then you'll have a huge subset of men that have zero access or minimal access to hookup culture. Mm -hmm. um, typically, these men are not going to be able to get uh, sex outside of perhaps the very rare occasional hookup or... It's going to have to be through a relationship, but almost any woman, if she was so inclined, could be a slut. Any woman could mm -hmm. be a slut. Not every man can be a slut. Okay. <clears throat> and so it, if it's, say, 50% of women that are engaging in this promiscuity and it's 10% of men that are enabling it, mm -hmm. wouldn't the blame be on the larger cohort of people that is sort of perpetuating this? Okay. Sure. Oh, okay, check me cool. It's okay to want what you want, but the problem arises when there's a delusional expectation that every woman qualifies to get the same guy thereafter. The reality is that not everyone will meet the standards of the top tier men they desire. It's unrealistic to think that just because you want something, you're automatically entitled to it. Instead of focusing on what they bring to the table, some women believe they deserve the best without putting in the effort or self-reflection needed to actually attract those men. The truth is, not everyone is going to be a match for the top 20% of men. They can believe it all they want, but reality will bring them back to their senses. Does anybody else feel like even though they have found pretty good partners in their lives, they still want to be alone. It's not that those people are not nice people or great people, but it's more so that they don't fulfill certain things that you need in order to really be your best self. I gotta be honest with you all, in all transparency, I'm going through a breakup right now. My partner is currently, he's amazing. He's great. He's a great person, hardworking, loyal, generous, kind, funny, um, and all the great characteristics that you can think of that a guy in a guy that you would want. But there are two to three things that he does not do for me that I really, really need. And he has improved a lot over the three years that we've been together, but I've reached a point where instead of just asking for these things repeatedly, I'd just rather be alone. First of all, being your best self always starts with you. To put it simply for this woman, she's looking for perfection. She stated that the man checked off every box except for three of them. What exactly could you possibly want? These types of women will spend their entire lives searching for perfection and in the end, live in a house all by themselves. Did you know that women find 80% of men as unattractive? I didn't know that. So a lot of, have you ever heard the girl say like medium ugly? Like, oh, I gave him a chance. He was medium <laughs> ugly. I say cute ugly. Yeah. It's like, it's like, no, sis, that was just your level. <laughs> 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 because women find 80% of men is unattractive. And the question is, if you find a guy attractive, he's probably the top 20% of men. Are you top 20% of women? 
And that, and that's what we have nowadays. And you can get this data from dating apps because women only swipe right between five and like 20% of the time. And if you ask 100% of women what they want in a man, they, they list 20% of men. And that's where you have eternal like side chicks, basically. <laughs> it's one thing a guy can do that will instantly make him like more attractive. More attractive? More attractive. Don't show interest in me. What? Don't show interest. Don't show interest. Yeah. Oh, you need a toxic guy. You need help. I do think that successful, intelligent women have it hard right now because the people that they're going to be attracted to, it's a smaller dating pool. But you got to figure out your competitive edge. You got to lean into your feminine energy. You have to learn how to essentially unlearn a lot of the things that society has drilled into you. And the biggest thing I see with women who are super successful or alpha is the unwillingness to compromise and the lack of malleability. That's where they lose. Like, you can't treat your dating life like your job where you're just penciling people in you got to be you know somewhat yeah. accommodating and that's what I said about the high value women in terms of the definition being cooperative being agreeable it's something that I think a lot of these women struggle with because again their whole life they've had to kind of work to become that way to get ahead but it's just doing them a disservice no. in dating the bottom line is that many women overlook most men because these men don't meet their often impossible standards these women have it backwards. They believe that their success and money will attract a high-value man. But the reality is that what truly draws men in are qualities like kindness, femininity, and the ability to bring peace into a man's life. If more women embraced being nurturing, supportive, and understanding, they wouldn't be struggling as much to find genuine connections. A man values a partner who can be his refuge, someone who understands him and complements his life, not just another competitor in the rat race. 80% of men are deemed unattractive by women online, on Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, seeking arrangements, what, you know, whatever the Ten, dating Top 10% of men on Tinder are getting 63% of the right swipes, mm -hmm. and I believe the top 20% were oh, getting, it eight, it's like something that. like a 78 or 80% oh. of the right swipes. The top 20% mm -hmm. were getting 80% of the right swipes on Tinder. The mistake is that this is the, that we call this the Pareto principle or the 80-20 rule, right? So the mistake is to think this, is that 20% uh, of guys are fucking 80% of the women. No, that's not it, dumbass. 100% of women want to get with the top 20% of guys. That leaves 80% of guys who are the invisible ones, who are the sandwich artists, who that they completely oblivious, women are completely oblivious to because they are unattractive. They are not, hmm, maybe he'll do. They are, I would never even, they, I wouldn't even recognize his existence, right? Yeah. And the best solution to this is just for men to simply delete dating apps and live in the real world. It's an illusion that's being sold to them that they will get their dream girl if they keep paying and swiping each month. Real interactions happens in the real world. The only ones who are winning in dating apps are the guys who are winning at life itself, the guys who are at the top 10 to 20%. These good guys simply don't stand a chance just because they're average. And you gotta think about it. For these women, the more attention you give them, the more they want. When women are in positions of power, they tend to fuck over everybody, including themselves. So mm -hmm. when you give women the power in any relationship dynamic, what's her choice? To disrespect you and start talking to other dudes. Does that help mm -hmm. her or the guy? No. She's going to lose the house. She's going to lose the kids. No one wins. You guys might think they're CEO or business owned women. No, dude, they're being managed by some dude. They're not doing this all by themselves. There's always a guy in the picture who's helping them out. There's someone leading them. So there's no such thing as woman leading anything. When women lead shit, they lead it into the fucking ground. I joined online dating again last night, and every time I do this, I am quickly reminded why I hate it. Online dating, it's not good. It's not, I don't recommend it. Um, why would you make this the opening line of your profile? I, I just, I don't get it. Do people still meet each other? out in the wild and if they do where do you find them because i can't do this i genuinely think i've hit this point in like dating that my shits are out the window like i don't care 
Like, I'm honestly, I'm not mean, but I think I might be getting bitter. And I don't want to be the bitter girl. Like, can someone please help these men and, like, teach them lessons in, like, proper etiquette and, like, you know, not to ask a woman what she brings to the table or not to, you know, start the conversation without even asking her on a date and immediately bring up how good of a cuddler they are or ask what kind of flowers she likes and, you know, if you're feeling, like, a little risky, you know, get the address and give it to him and let him send you flowers. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, it's so fun. It's so fun out here. Freaking losing it. And I feel <clears throat> genuinely like they know better, but instead it's just, like, fun for them to be, like, play dumb. Like, they're playing the dumb girl bit. And that's our job. That's our job. I already, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now because I'm just so flustered. I'm contemplating the year I was born in at this point. And I know I can't be the only one. So, and I'm not lowering my standards. So, like, you don't even have to be 6'5". Or in finance. Or have blue eyes. The trust fund does help. <laughs> but, come on. Like, jeez, Louise. You don't even have to be fit. You can have a dad bod. I, I will settle for dad bod. That is totally fine with me. I think that's cute. But come on. Can't do it. Can't do it. Sorry. Just can't. I'm another bad date away from just being single and the fun uncle. Real talk. Men are tired of putting in all the effort for someone that does the bare minimum. So she a perfect specimen and the rest of the world needs to level up to her. It's just a struggle out there. The majority of good men she's trying to reach have already given up and walked away. They've grown tired of the game disillusioned by the impossible standards set before them. The only way this situation improves is if we all come together, but I don't see that happening anytime soon because women claim they don't need men. And I see a problem here. Why is she suddenly willing to settle down with a man who has a dad bod after all this time? Did she finally get tired of chasing the players or maybe they rejected her? Honestly, I'd say it's the consequences of pursuing perfection. Many women spend their prime years chasing after men who represent the ideal, chiseled, successful and unattainable, only to find that these men aren't interested in long-term commitment. Love is something that everyone seeks, but settling down for second options after the first ones didn't work is just wrong. So I was scrolling through the internet and then found another idiotic thing that a guy said publicly. Now this is Shannon Harris. She goes as Shan XO on YouTube. And this guy said, this is why our first date is running a mile around the track to see if you sweat the makeup off. Are you absolutely joking me? First off, she looks absolutely beautiful without makeup. And she looks beautiful with makeup. She looks beautiful both ways. I have absolutely no idea why this guy is acting like she's catfishing him. And it's also just rude, like, oh, run a mile, see if you sweat the makeup off. Like, dudes, you don't have to wear makeup. You don't have society pressuring you to look a certain way, so you should just leave us alone. If we want to wear makeup, let us wear makeup. If we don't want to wear it, let us not wear it. And I'm sorry, but isn't this what guys complain about all the time? They don't like girls that wear a lot of makeup, like the top picture. But he's complaining that she doesn't look like the top picture naturally. We shouldn't get blasted online because we want to dress up and wear makeup sometimes. So guys, stop makeup shaming us and judging us and just leave us alone. Well, I think this is a pretty good exercise. For these men who are going on these dates, it might actually solve the catfish problem. 
So have we noticed that when men go for younger women, it's disgusting, it's creepy, it's how could he, he's taking advantage of her. Um, that's the feedback that women give. But if a woman goes for a younger man, cougar, goals, wow, good for her, she deserves it. Yeah, like that's great. What? This isn't equal rights. This is not equal rights. This is what I'm trying to say. This is not equal rights. <laughs> and it bothers me so much because men can go for younger women if they want. Leave them alone. Um, also, they go for younger women. I'll give you a few reasons because younger women are less tainted. They're less, they have more of a fresher point of view on the world. So it's not just because they're younger. It's because they're also more just happy. They're less, uh, they have less baggage. They have less hate towards men they have less experience they have less body count so they they're more optimistic like there's there's a lot of reasons it's not just because they're younger it's a classic double standard these women often bash men for dating younger women calling them shallow or predatory while ignoring their own actions when they do the same thing. They criticize men for seeking younger partners, but have no issue dating younger men themselves, often claiming it's about empowerment or just having fun. By shifting the focus away from their behavior, they create a narrative where men are always wrong, while women are just exploring their options. This double standard lets them do the same things they condemn in men without facing the same criticism. They want the freedom to date younger men without judgment, but they don't extend that same understanding to men. It's a way to avoid accountability while still enjoying the benefits they criticize others for seeking.